gentlemen, welcome to CZW Girls Hot and Sweaty. I will be your host, Maven Bentley, as we venture through the combat zone to watch these girls fight in some of the brutalest battles ever, get hot and sweaty, but also kick some ass. We're about to see chicks using nasty tactics versus the dollhouse of Mia Yim and Marty Bell. This guarantees to be one hell of a matchup. Let's take it to ringside. Here with Marty Bell and Jade, tonight you guys go for the WSU Tag Team Titles. You take on Kimberly and Andy Social. What's your game plan for tonight? It's the same game plan we always have. We kick a lot of ass, duh. Listen, it's been a while since Jade and I have been here at the WSU ring, but we're gonna do what we do best. And what's that, Jade? We're gonna play with the cards! <laughs> you can't say that word. You can't say that. What? You can't say that. It's a bad word. No, it's not. Do you want to wash out your mouth with soap? You can't say that. Stop being a butthead. You stop being a butthead. Okay, the chicks using nasty tactics. Is that it? Tactics, but yes. Yes, okay, cut. Yes. <laughs> so pretty much, we're going to just go in there, kick some ass, play with them a little, bring home the belt, and walk out champions. It's what we do. Thank you guys. Back to you. We're back at the arena, our home. This is where I started and this is where you started. And you helped me when I was starting, girl. And now we're wrestling two girls that we know very well. Marty Bell and Mia Yim, the dollhouse. Let me tell you something, it doesn't fucking matter how long we've known these girls because there's not a single fucking move they have that I haven't already seen. We work too motherfucking hard to get these belts and they're not taking them. Not tonight, not fucking ever. We're about to watch the dollhouse enter the ringside area. That's Jade, AKA Mia Yim, and Marty Bell, two beautiful young ladies who, uh, well, let's just be honest, they're too hot forever to ever talk to me. Hi, hi, Jade. I, uh, I'm trying again. Hi. How, how are you? And, and, and anyway, uh, back to the action here. Mia Yim, a.k.a. Jade, Marty Bell, the dollhouse, two world-traveled amazing athletes. Don't let their little uh, lollipops fool you. They're about to kick the major ass in this ring, and I guarantee that. Soaking in the adulation from the Combat Zone faithful, and here come their opponents, chicks using nasty tactics. Uh, feel free to use the initials on that if you so choose. I will not. Well, it's not yet. Kimberly and Annie Social. And, and, and let me tell you, Annie Social is not a, a, a cute name. She is anti-social, believe, believe me. As she is telling you to um, admire her championship belt. Can you see that? Yeah, let's call that. Annie Social, Kimberly. Two of the most violent women, they do use nasty tactics, and we're gonna see them defend the CW Girls Women Superstar Uncensored Tag Team Championships. And good God, I forgot what I was gonna say. Um, yeah, um, welcome to CW Girls Hot and Sweaty. Hello, oh, oh, and not to be outdone in the background. Let's take it down to MLJ for the official introductions. Introducing first in the corner to my left, they are the challengers. Shane! we have here as all four of these women have some sort of long lineage either with WSU or this building in general as Marty Bell a former multi-time WSU tag team champion and well I guess she's going by Jade now since going down south 
lost her mind a little bit and uh, has had a long-standing history in this building having rivalries with Greg Excellent in CZW. And actually, last time out she had, here at WSU, she took on Jessica Havin. But my money is always going to be on chicks using nasty tactics as Annie Social, the toughest woman in WSU and probably the city of Philadelphia. And then you have Kimberly, who's just grown up in this building just like Annie Social has. And both women have been teaming for many years here in WSU. Oh, no, the tie up center of the ring. Jade wrenching away on the head of Kimberly. Now, trying to get his predicament. No, taking over the side headlock takeover. That says a reply. Kimberly. You see Jade looking to roll the heads, makes her way to the ropes. Causing the, forcing the break here. So you got referee Dan Yost on top of things. Facing off once again. We talked about any social being one of the toughest women in Philadelphia. If not the toughest, but Kimberly, no slouch. She's pretty tough Absolutely herself. Absolutely not. Any social pretty much taught Kimberly how to be tough since coming to WSU a few years ago. She's got that right leg pinned while she's got an ankle lock on the left. Drops all her weight across the knee now scissors the leg and you know talking about toughness Jade here when she competed as Mia Yim in CZW competed in a TLC match with Greg Excellent a man probably that weighs more than all four of the ladies and the referee combined in that ring so she's pretty tough might have gone insane a little bit but tough and nearly becoming a WSU tag team champion there having a handful of hair now oh Kimberly Going to town here on Jade with those elbows. Now, she's got her in a, a version of a, of a plum clinch here, but she's going after by the hair to Jade. Backs her into the ropes. Oh, big clubbing forearm right across the chest. And she now sends her off, short arm reversal. Oh, what's this? Kimberly gives chase, hits the ropes herself, ducks the line up and around with the head oh. scissor. And Jade with a head scissor of her own. Spiking head scissor nearly. And we got a face-off in the ECW arena. Look at this now. Both, both combatants tagging in their partners. Annie Social and Marty Bell entering this match for the first time. This is my first time seeing either of these women live. Oh, what is this? She's licked her face. Yeah, and Annie Social does not like that whatsoever. My goodness, forearm exchange center of the ring. These women throwing meat. Annie Social now getting the best, the better of Marty Bell sends her off. Oh, catch her with the clothesline. Yeah, in Kensington, where I believe she grew up, that is not something you do to a girl from Kensington. Noted. Ring in the arm here. Side rushing leg sweep, center of the ring, Marty Bell to cover. Only getting a two count. You know, Marty Bell, another one who's, who's kind of lost a few marbles on her way down south. She but just, again, she, she like the woman's face. Yeah, obviously. Um, she's no slash. She's won the Spirit Championship as well as the Tag Team Championships. She is a long-standing member of this WSU roster. Returning here for the first time, I believe, in a year. And looking to take those, cha take those championship straps back down to Florida with them. The ring cut off now. As a tag made out to Kimberly. The axe handle across the back of Marty Bell. From coast to coast, charges in big clothesline. This is now Kimberly signaling for something else, but the re re reversal here. Marty oh. Bell leaves that leg prone, kick to the midsection. Look how proud they are, the dollhouse. Oh, knees to the back. Now, look at this. Putting her weight. Across, yeah, I believe her neck, her neck, the neck, absolutely. Yeah, her neck draped over that, choking the life out of her. Well, there's Kimberly slowly trying to tag in any social, and Marty Bell smartly knocking any social down and kicking Kimberly right in the face. Oh my goodness. You know, you got one team called Chicks using nasty tactics, but it's Dollhouse right now utilizing nasty tactics, almost taking a page out of their book. And well, since the ladies from the Dollhouse got together, they have just been vicious. Look at this now. All the weight once again across the back. And, 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 there, and there's Jade. Look at Jade now. Getting, in, getting over here. Why is she over here? Jost, get control of the match, Jost. Oh! oh, come on. 
my goodness, kicks to the chest. Oh, and one to the head for good measure. This, this Jade is a, she's a little, uh, and there's Jay, though, look distracting any social, bringing any social away from the corner smartly. Yes, now the ring cut off. Kimberly in a bad way here as both members of the dollhouse having their way with her in the corner. Referee Dan Yost trying to regain control here, making the count. As Jade is now the legal woman for the dollhouse. Kimberly in a bad way. They're isolating Kimberly. Probably a smart decision is Kimberly the last time out here in the 2300 arena. She left with a big old knot in her head and she didn't take any time off, so clearly she might not be at 100%. What's this? Oh! Big kick right to the chest. These are kicks that Jay learned when she went to the, took a few trips to Japan over the years. Oh man. She got her feet some education. Absolutely right. But Kimberly, a dancer, and able to to get those kicks up just a little bit higher, nearly cutting the, kicking the head off of Jade, hooking the head, but there's Jade, dead weight in her. She's looking for a suplex predicament, it looks like. Jade looking for one of her own. Neither woman able to capitalize, but Kimberly! Look at the strength of Kimberly! beasts her up and takes her down with that stalling suplex. The cover, oh, and Marty fell in to break it up the last millisecond. Oh, spinning back kick, finds a mark. Take Kimberly off her feet. Once again, attacking Andy Social. Andy Social being knocked off. A little, a little dumb though, she gave time for Kimberly to catch a breath and kick out of that pinning combination. But nevertheless, the dollhouse manhandling the chicks quite easily here today at control. You know, Kimberly taking quite the beauty from both members of the dollhouse here, but still able to mount a comeback. She's fighting for her life in there. She desperately wants to make that tag. As you see that chop, and then and then Jade looking in the eyes of Andy Social, almost as if to rub it in, whipping Kimberly from coast to coast now. And another. Unleashing these chops. Rapid fire to the chest of Kimberly, and then a palm strike right to the face for good measure. These dollhouse ladies are just nuts. Look at the smiles on their face at those vicious chops. They're a little smiling now after Kimberly just knocked her teeth down her throat. I think it took all she had, both women down. Dan Yost making the count. Of course, these women have until the count of 10 to make it up to their feet. Both women slowly getting to their partners. Looks like Jay's going to get to Marty Bell first, but there's Kimberly finally bringing Annie Social in. And I rate Annie Social taking out Marty Bell not once, but twice, and go for a third kick. Oh, what's this? My face out applied, snaps her over with the suplex, the bridge. Two in. Oh, only getting a two good for two. What's this now? Jade in, those pubbing forearms, and now boots to the back ahead of Annie Social. Waist lock applied, German oh, suplex! Man. Plants her right on her dome. But Jade is up with the spinning back fist, waist lock applied. Returns the favor with a German suplex of her own, but Kimberly's up. And they're button head center of the ring here. Forearm shots or elbow exchange right to the face. Both on the outside, Marty Bell with the big deal left. There's so much going on right now. Yeah, but right now the two legal women in this match are Marty Bell and Annie Social. Annie Social's face being driven to the mat as uh, Kimberly and Jade continue to battle out on the outside. And there's Marty Bell with a handful of socials mohawk. Shot to the midsection, inside cradle. Two and three. And it's over! They retain the titles. Viciously assaulting Annie Social here because they didn't get the way they are like a couple of young ladies and and old and, old, and older ladies' bodies throwing a temper tantrum right now. What is this? She's got the double underhook applied here. Oh my God! Oh. A legs hook package pile driver center of the ring. They're a couple of children. That psycho children throwing a tamper tantrum because they didn't win the game. My goodness. And Kimberly is out of it, that, that package pile driver. 
my goodness. And the dollhouse proud of themselves, laughing as they send Kim, you know, even though Kimberly and Annie Social victorious, they're not looking so victorious right now. No. You're back with Maven Bentley as we see the chicks using nasty tactics. You know what I'm trying to say, right? right. I'm, 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 their pants are distracting me. Leaving the ring, we've got Dollhouse, Jade, and Marty Bell standing victorious or sitting victorious or whatever you want to call it in the ring. Now to their feet. Thank you for all of the great action that we've seen today, ladies. Uh, a true dollhouse of no better description could be made because these two just look like two beautiful porcelain dolls until you have to fight them. Then they kick you right in the face. And um, well, I'm glad it wasn't me they kicked in the face. But ladies, thanks for your action. And as we roll on, on CZW Girls, hot and sweaty, we take it to Beta Scott versus Solo Darling. Beta Scott, the pop sheet geek and so darling well i i'm not gonna lie i love the tail just like who has a tail that, that's cute anyway here we go to ringside fans beta scott versus solo darling here on cw girls hot and sweaty tonight i beta scott am being forced to wrestle solo darling and i say forced not because i am intimidated by her and not because i don't necessarily want to i just Solo Darling is a sticky, obnoxious, sugar junkie child. And Veda Scott does not have time for this sort of nonsense. Solo Darling, you're, you're just so, you're so hyperactive. You're everywhere, you're just, you're just here, you're there, you're there, you're there, you're there, you're there, you're there sugar. I, I, I don't have that sort of energy. I don't have that sort of capacity for ridiculous, Nonsense, Solo Darling. Tonight, we're gonna just cool it down. We're gonna keep it nice and mellow. Cause no one does cool like Veda Scott. Solo Darling, I just need you to chill. So, I heard like Veda say that I have too much energy. I don't understand that. Um, energy is a good thing. Maybe I can show her how much fun that I have and then she'll be like, oh my god, this is so much fun. I don't know why I wanted to chill. And then like we can go and get more Slurpees because right now I'm out because as you guys know, it's free Slurpee day. So I'm really excited to be with all of you guys on my national holiday. So A, let's party. B, Veda, we're totally going to be friends by the end of this. I, I know that. So it's okay. You can just come be my friend. And three, um... Let's rock and roll and get some more Slurpees. And fans, we welcome you back to CW Girls Hot and Sweaty as we watch Beta Scott, who is on an anti-sugar crusade apparently, enter the ringside area. She uh, has made a statement to Solo Darling, who for those fans who aren't familiar with Solo, is pretty much a sugar fiend saying that there will be no hyperactivity and that she will make her eat broccoli if she wins this match. Oh, odd stipulation, I haven't heard such a thing before, but Beta does not like sugar. And here she comes, the super slurpied up, but Solo Darling just hopped up on as much candy and sugar as she possibly can be. And I've gotta say, I love that tail. I, I don't know what it is, but a lady with a tail like that makes Maven Bentley a very happy guy. The happy little squirrel drinking all the sugar, Solo Darling has entered the combat zone. Here for CZW Girls, hot and sweaty, Dan Yost gets two, uh, two power drinks there as Solo soaks in the adulation from these fans who I would assume also enjoy their sweet beverages. Oh, little moonwalk there by Solo. <laughs> and double fisting it goes Solo Darling. Let's take it down the ringside for a call from MLJ. Well, this is National Slurpee Day. It's a, one of the greatest holidays for Solo Darling, our Vanellope Von Sweets of WSU. Introducing first 
There's the bell to start off this contest here. Solo Darling first offering Beta Scott a step of her Slurpee on this national holiday for Solo Darling. But Beta Scott did not want to take a sip of that enchanted drink. Solo Darling is one of the nicest competitors in WSU. Always shaking people's hands and hugging people. It's hard not to like Solo Darling. She brought her a gift to start the match. She brings gifts after matches, even after she loses. Last time we're at the arena here, she actually brought Mickey Knuckles a big, a big cake. A cake? Yes. How very well, nice. Well, there's Veda that. Scott. Wow, look at this. Veda take her here. She's walking the tightrope. Is Veda Scott. I'm, I'm feeling kind of nervous for her here. Not a very smart thing to oh. do here. As we are in the combat zone, and there is no padding outside of this ring. That is unforgiving concrete. As now Solo Darling sent in the ring by Beta Scott. Solo Darling, the, the squirrel girl? Is yep. that what she is? She calls herself a lot of things. She's, uh, she's something else. But it's hard not to like her. It's hard not to smile when Solo Darling is around. No, she's very chipper. I met her earlier today. Very, very nice lady. I find it hard to call her matches when she's on the losing end. I feel really bad for her. Like right now, I feel really bad at Veda Scott and what she's doing. And she has a hold of that arm, like a, a reverse arm bar of sorts. Definitely an arm bar variation right there. Veda Scott working over that arm of Solo Darling. Solo in a bad spot here. Trying to fight away to that predicament. And go for the cover. Oh, I know she's raking it through. And it was some mission maneuver here. Veda Scott nowhere near the bottom ropes. Looking for the ropes as Solo Darling really wrenching it out. Oh, Veda Scott now reversing it. Using those kicks to the face to break it up. I think Solo Darling's actually searching for that Slurpee. You know, in the middle of her match, she likes to sugar up. Oh, uh, and there's, Whoa, there's Veda Scott this. sipping it now. I think she's gotten a brain freeze. Oh, no. Why are you still drinking it? You got a brain freeze. That happens to everybody. You know, you get a brain oh, freeze. Oh, come on. She's spinning out in Dio's face. Oh, my goodness. Slurpee come missed. Come on, Dio's, pay up. attention. Turn it's just around. Some, it's just some corn syrup. Wipe it out of your eyes and make the cover. Let's going to make the count. Solo Darling, checking on referee Dan Yost. Well, that's all by the hair. Almost too Scott. nice. Too nice is Solo Darling. Now Beta Scott powers Solo into the corner. Dan Yost still reeling from that slurpee to the eyes. As Solo now being perched up top by Beta Scott. Beta Scott now front face lock applied, perhaps looking for a superplex. As Solo Darling hammering away at the midsection, help, uh, headbutt sends her back down to the canvas. But what is this? Oh. It looked as though she was going for a tornado DDT variation, but landed on her feet and hit her with a suplex. That is right. Both ladies are on the ground, and Dan Yost is applying that count of 10 while still wiping out the remnants of that Slurpee. Uh oh. There she is. She's got her Slurpee. Oh, no brain is. freezes. 
She's getting all sugared up. Oh no. Oh. She is completely sugared up now. Veda Scott trying to play nice. Slaps no code away. of honor here in WSU. Rapid fire chops. Sends her off now to Solo Darling. Oh, catch her with a cross chop. And another. Taking Veda down to Solo Darling with the repeated cross chops. And a spear for good measure. Hooks the legs. Only good for two, says referee Daniels. Squirrel Girl gets a little sugar in her and she gets nutty. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Oh, sweeps the leg to Spade of Scott. And into a pinning combination here, I think. Wait a say no. She's got a handful of Solo's hair. Oh my goodness. That multicolored hair of Solo Darling. I think that's just, she got a little crazy with the slurpee before she started the uh, action. Could be it. It's the blue flavor. Yes, that, colors are flavors. Of that blue raspberry. Oh, there it is, that candy crush. Into a pinning combination to it. Oh, almost a three count. Hello, darling. She came springboarding off that second with that candy crush. A variation of the ace crusher. Now she's got her by the hair. What is this? She's oh, hugging her. Oh, looking for that hug factor, but getting the, getting a headbutt to the forehead. Beta Scott now springboard bulldog. Drives her face first into that canvas. What's this now? She's got something in mind here. Oh, sweeps the leg, a snapmare driver variation. Sends her face first into the mat now, the cover. Two and only getting a two count. That was almost it. She got her shoulder up the last millisecond. Solo Darling still in this thing. And Veda Scott wondering what she's got to do to put away the Squirrel Girl. This now. She's looking something up here, looking perhaps for a Saito suplex variation. Solo Darling goes to the midsection, steps over. There is a hook factor. A hook factor. And that has got to be it. Go for that cover two and three. And there she goes, Solo Darling the Slurpee-powered beauty with a tail like no other. I can't get over the tail, fans. I'm, I'm just telling you, something about that tail is just awesome to me. But Solo Darling takes out Veda Scott. She tried to offer her sugar. She tried to be her friend. Veda was having none of it. And fans now passing Solo Looks like uh, some kind of chocolate or sugar, which makes sense because that's Solo's thing. And Solo Darling proving to all kids <laughs> that their parents are wrong, that eating your spinach will not make you a super person, but eating all of your candy will. Beta Scott now being, <laughs> she asked for water and got that, uh, that drink and just threw it down, not very happy. Veda Scott has said before that she wanted to chill out today. She wanted to have a relaxed day, and it did not work. Fans, we're getting hot and sweaty with the CW girls, and we've got more action after this. And as we bring you more of CW girls hot and sweaty, we take you to Hanaya, the Howling Huntress, versus Leva Bates, our cosplay queen, in what will be sure to be an amazing display of athleticism, as well as a display of just two of the most gorgeous women I've ever seen in my life, just battling for what they see as the ultimate prize, the WSU Spirit Championship. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, for the Spirit title, We've got Hanaya, the Howling Huntress, making her way towards the ringside area. A beautiful, yet talented woman. I think a lot of fans see her and only see that beautiful smile, uh, but let us not be fooled. This young lady is absolutely vicious. In fact, the first woman to perform in a ladder match in this hollow building, the 2300 Arena in South Philadelphia, the home of former ECW. And now making her way towards the ringside area, her opponent, a young lady we know as Leva Bates, who today is being known as the daredevil Leva Bates, our cosplay queen, 
as she's going through all stages of Matt Murdock to get here to the finals. An amazing talent is Leva. I have no idea how she's going to see in that match, though. I'm, I'm just pointing that out. Leva Bates is, is, is well known for uh, her cosplay, well known for her uh, uh, just energetic fun. Uh, also, random fact for you fans, also known for her blue pants when she wants to be next in line. Air quotes there. There she goes into the ring, ladies and gentlemen. Leva Bates versus Hanaya the Howling Huntress for the WSU Spirit Championship starting now on CGW Girls Hot and Sweaty. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is your main event of the afternoon. It is set for football, and it is the finals of the WSU Spirit Championship Tournament. When the bell rings, the man in charge, Mr. Dan Yost. Introducing first to my right. Finally going to crown a new WSU Spirit Champion. Both these ladies victorious earlier here tonight. And it uh, looks like Leva Bates evolved a little bit since her uh, first match earlier on this evening. That's right. She evolved from being the, the, de the devil of Hell's Kitchen to just straight up being Daredevil now. You're absolutely right. As the bell rings to start this main event contest. We're catching the arm now is Leva Bates. Oh, what is this? She's got her prone here, looking to, to nail her with those coming forearms. But no, and I able to get out of that position. No, oh, kick to the leg. Leva with one of her own, exchanging kicks here. These two women. Oh, simultaneous kicks. Neither woman going down here. And there's Scott sent back. Go for a bridge, and this could be it. We could have a new champion. Only getting a two K. Not even to score with the black, the backside. We got a schoolgirl. Nice call, Cradle. Once again, only good for two. Leva Bates trying to end things early and become that WSU Spirit Champion. Now charges in. Oh, Naya catches it. Cross chop, I believe. Oh, but no, there we go, shoulder to the midsection. Leva Bates now, working over the midsection of Anaya. Now nailing with his clubbing forearms, and Anaya firing back at some of her own. Send her face first in that top turn buffer. Pick away at the midsection. Leva Bates is, might not want to get into a, a fist fight with Hanaya as we've seen her get vicious over the last few months here in WSU, and it's, being on, it's on display right here right now. The corner, up and over, it goes Leva Bates. Roll charges in the drop Ooh. kick sends the back of Hanaya's head into that bottom turnbuckle. She charges in once again, vaults up and down with the knee drop, dropping her knees across the chest of Hanaya the Huntress to cover. Only good for two Daniel. Daniel. Still working on those legs. All right, both ladies here kicking the thighs. Definitely going to slow both women down as both women can get high speed and high flying here in WSU. Begins the girl. Catches a mark. Finds her mark right in the back of the brain. Right there. This is now the leg hot. Takes over the fisherman suplex. With a release. No bridge. Cover. Once again, only a two count as Bates able to get that shoulder up before a three. Now just mounting her and firing away at those right hands, pulling the mask off. 
disrespect being shown here from Hanaya to the girl without fear, Luka Face. Oh, and the drop kick sends her soaring into the corner. Driving that knee and that shin across the throat of Leva Bay to Tanaya. But breaking it up before the count of five. And now, once again, going back to work on that neck. Leva Bates has something in mind here, tying up the leg. Utilizing the rope here, almost like a rope-assisted abdominal stretch. But referee Daniels causing a break here as, as Naya was in the ropes. Takes her out that forearm shot. Cover. Two. Oh, only a two count again as Leva Bates staying alive in this contest. Clubbing forearm for Naya the Hunters. Bates on the ground now, kick to the ribs. Pulls her out of the corner. Cover. Once again, Leva Bates showing that determination, showing that drive to become the next spirit champion. Leva Bates coming away at the body. Big open hand slap. Clubbing forearm shot to the chest now. Backing up. Charges in, ducks the line of Hanaya. Sends her up and over the rope here. She's hung up to dry. Drop oh. kick. Right to the posterior, center to the outside. And Leva Bates, perhaps looking to take it to the streets here. I think you're right. That is, oh, oh nice. The leg is caught. Oh, face first into the ring apron. That's the hardest part of any pro wrestling ring right now. You're absolutely right. That's where the board is no longer there, and it's a straight up medal. Covered by a just just covered by a little bit of cloth. That's right. Break your face. Speaking of breaking face, forearm shot, and now Hanaya sent back into the ring. Leva Bates giving chase. She's a little bit worse for wear. You're absolutely right. She's been through a battle here, and a battle earlier today with Athena, who Athena is probably chomping at the bit, just irate watching this from the locker room. Catching Anaya with that kick. What is she looking for here? She's on the ascent, but look at this. Anaya going for the leg. Aliva Bates pulls her down and just rings her up first across that top rope. Bates in a bad way. Oh, there it is, there it is. Cross body. Take it to the skies, but once again, Bates getting out of that pinning predicament. Anaya, absolutely beside herself, really angry. Look at this now, rear chin lock applied. Looking to cut off the flow of oxygen with the brain to leave the Bates, perhaps. Slow her down a little bit. These fans firmly behind Leva Bates. And Leva Bates feeding off this energy from the crowd, getting to a vertical base now, and funding out and getting the half. Oh, wait a second. Crossface chicken wing. Applied by Leva Bates to Hanaya, center of the ring here, nowhere to go. Hanaya is slowly making her way to the ropes, breaking free, hooking the head. Away with this front face lock. Almost utilizing like a version of a guillotine choke here. Right, and it could be successful here. Jawbreaker, great equalizer. Leva Bates slow on the rise here. And she's got Hanaya reeling. She needs to take advantage of this. Big chop right to the chest of Anaya. And another. Overhand chops. And a double handed chop. Now looking Anaya to her feet back from the rope, sends her off. Oh, big kick, finds its mark. Right in the chest of Anaya the Huntress. Takes her off her feet. And Leva beats in control here with another kick. 
Kick to the midsection as Leva Bates now really firing up here in the late in the late innings of this matchup. Caught her with that knee left. Now look at this. Oh! I don't even know what to call that. It's like an armbar face drop into a pin cover here. Two and oh! Nearly a three count. But Hanaya just at the last moment getting that shoulder up. Now. Sends her into the corner. Backing up, looking to charge in. Oh, but Hanaya meets her with two feet to the chest, sending her back. Those women not looking too good right now. Oh, the catch. Overhead. Well, this could be it. Two and the three. Oh. Two flex the bridge. Only able to get a two. I thought for sure that was going to be a three count. The fans solidly behind Leva Bates. Anaya slapping the hands away, unleashing a flurry of forearm shots. Dragging the center of the ring, off the second. Whoa! Springboard assisted Bulldog into a cover. Anaya could be there. Oh, no. Once again, Daniels only good for two. Both women pulling out all the stops in this main event Spirit Championship match. Both women looking to get their first taste of gold here in WSU. Once again, going to those forearm shots. Backing up, charging in. Leva Bates out of the way. Just sidestepping it, and then Hanaya doing all the damage on her own. It's now Leva Bates. Charges it. Oh, big knee lift to that exposed abdominal region. And now Hanaya seated in the corner here is Leva Bates. Making her ascent. But Hanaya able to get up and high the top. Oh, big double stomp across the lower back. That could be it. That's got to be it. Two and three. Oh, whoa. Hanaya, the Huntress, has got some fight in her. Able to get her shoulder up 2.99 right there. We almost had a new champion. Leva Bates. She's spending mo too much time arguing with Dan Yost over the count. She needs to, to stay on her opponent. Yeah, you're exactly right, especially in this match. Oh. Later and later, both women now taking each other out with big boots. Both women down. Referee Dan Yost administering the count. Somebody has to answer a count of 10 here. Both women get to a vertical base in about seven seconds. Oh, sent down. What's this though? Anaya. Oh, that reverse DDT variation. Uh, a reverse elevated DDT. And now Hanaya looking to put away Leva Bates here. She sets her up high atop the 2300 arena here in South Philadelphia. Oh, well, what is this? And there's Athena now. Athena giving Hanaya a taste of her own medicine here. Distracting Hanaya. Well, uh, Hanaya, she's got her eyes off the prize here. Instead of capitalizing on a prone Le Leva Bates, she's jawjacking with Athena here at ringside. Oh, big slap to the face from Leva Bates. Giving Leva Bates enough time to come to. And what does Leva Bates have planned as she drags Hanaya to the top with her? Oh, it is! The arms off! The Pepsi, Pepsi plunge. plunge! That is it! We have a new spirit champion! One, two, three! That's it! Leva Bates has done it! And thank you to MLJR ring announcer for that wonderful uh, introduction of the new CZW Girls WSU Spirit Champion, Bloody and Battered. There she is, Leva Bates, the daredevil, the woman without fear, the ultimate cosplayer, getting the well-deserved adulation from the CZW fans that she deserves.
And fans, I don't know about you, but I feel like we have witnessed some of the greatest wrestling that I've ever seen in my life. These young ladies, not just beautiful, but talented athletes. I think that sometimes lofts on people when you see the, the bombshells in the ring. These are not just women who, 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 who look good, but women who can just make, make your heart pound, not just from their looks, but from the high intensity action. Leva covered in her own blood. That's how much this championship meant to her. A woman known for her, her, her fun-loving, genteel nature just bled in the ring. And, and it looks like she's extending an arm, extending a hand to Hanaya, the Howling Huntress. Oh, and Hanaya extends one back, but not in a loving way. Just form shivers after shivers, ground and pound to the chest of Leva Bates. What a, what, what a despicable act. And here comes here comes Athena. For fans that have watched uh, CW Girls in the past, you know that Athena and Hanaya have a, uh, they have issue. And, and blocked in now is Hanaya. Athena takes in the air. We might have taken this a little too soon uh, from our ringside commentary. I apologize to uh, to our team down there. Didn't mean to steal your thunder. But here at CW Girls, when the action goes, we keep going with it. Back and forth. Down goes Hanaya. Fans, we thank you for joining us here. But, but wait a minute, we're not even done. There's a super kick. Oh, she was looking for that finishing maneuver that she likes to hit. And Hanaya out through the crowd. Uh, 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 Athena, Athena's following her. Athena's following her. Fans, you never know what's going to happen here at CCW Girls. But there is our new spirit champion for women superstars uncensored, the CCW Girls division. And, and I can't say enough about Leva Bates. Leva Bates, an amazing athlete, holding that belt up high, that championship that signifies that she indeed has more spirit than any other lady here in CCW Girls. A bloody face might be her uh, her receipt, but I tell you, whether she's wearing red pants or blue pants, look it up. She is a championship caliber lady. And thank you here from all of us at CW Girls, hot and sweaty. You've seen a hell of a night of action, and I hope that you've enjoyed. We'll see you next time here at CZW. did it guys I did it I won the tournament and I became the spirit champion I'm exhausted I'm covered in blood but I did it I never gave up kept pursuing kept trying I never surrendered and now this this is mine this is the reward this is what we fight for the WSU spirit championship I want to make a promise here and now. I will uphold what it means to be a spirit champion. In my heart, in my mind, and in my soul. I believe for WSU.
as we thank you for joining us here at Combat Zone Wrestling Girls. We guarantee that no matter what offering you get from Combat Zone Wrestling, it will be absolutely amazing and like nothing else. We thank you, we appreciate you, and we guarantee nothing but violence.